Greetings. Today I'm going to show you how to combine data. This is for the purpose of BMO 249, Investment Analysis and Portfolio Management. Uh, the purpose of this is uh, how to construct a return series. Okay, um, now in the assignment, or, uh, you are supposed to have four companies. Okay, in this case, I've chosen four companies and I've downloaded them from Yahoo. If you don't know how to do download data from Yahoo, uh, look at the uh, tutorial on how to download data from Yahoo. Okay, I've also downloaded the STI data as well as the interest rates data here. So what we're going to do is that uh, we're going to start combining these files one by one. So let's start with M1 first of all. You'll notice that the data comes in this format. Okay, so what we're going to keep is this date here and the adjusted close. Uh, we don't want all of this information, so we just in this case, for this purpose, we'll just delete them all. Okay, and call this M1. Okay, we'll save this file, okay, <clears throat> as a uh, return series, okay, for this uh, for the purpose of this exercise. Okay, so we'll minimize that. Okay, that's the M1. We already have that included. So the next one we take is uh, Suntech. Okay, so Suntech, which is uh, again do the same thing. We we'll delete this, okay, and change that to Suntech. All right. So um, what we do next is that uh, we need to take this information. So you Control C, okay, come back to this return series here and put it here, and put it down here, okay, because uh, the dates are slightly different. Uh, so uh, you need to be mindful that okay this one is actually has December and this one only have up to November okay so just be aware of that sometimes when you're manipulating with data uh, this happens okay so we just close that off and keep the raw data as it is okay we've already done some tech next thing we do is uh, sync post okay again we do exactly the same thing we take away the information we don't need and put that down as sync post Okay, and copy that and come back to here and drop that in here all right and just close off sync post we're going to keep repeating this exercise and uh, the next one we're going to include is wheelock okay um, for those of you who like shopping wheelock is quite a good option okay so again change the name to we lock all right so that you know uh, which one it corresponds to okay so you come back here and Right, so we'll close off VLOG. Okay, the last one I'm going to include is STI, and I will be looking at the interest rate one uh, separately because uh, the data format is quite different. So just take that down as STI. Right, so come back to our return series. These are all the information that we have here. So let me just close off this file. Okay, and then we can take it from there. Notice so far, we've uh, done all these five files here. The raw data that we have is here, and the only exception is Synced Suntech. Okay, Suntech is uh, quite funny. It doesn't actually have the um, December data. So what we're going to have to do is go to uh, Yahoo uh, and just get the data uh, for today. After all, today is the last date. So let's just go to Finance and type in Suntech. Uh, and... Um, Okay, right. The last price is a dollar fifty. So we're just going to take that data uh, and make it easier for ourselves. So just push that down, shift the cells down, <clears throat> okay, and copy that that date across in a dollar fifty. Okay, it's the last price that we have. Right. I'm going to start combining all of these data. Okay, so these are all December. Okay, data. So. Uh, the next thing I need to do is have a look at uh, down here if the data is different. Okay, this is uh, 1st, 2005, January 2005, January 2005, January 2005, and January 2005. So, uh, okay, so I'm going to truncate all the data from there on, okay, for the purpose of this exercise. We don't, uh, we're not going to need it. We're not going not going to use it, okay. So, we're going to do it up to there, okay. So, Right, since the dates date are the same, okay, I'm gonna delete the date off, okay, and start combining the data so that I can see them side by side and compare them directly, okay. So in this case, we have 
Okay, the four stocks, the index, the STI. Now you can actually reformat the data if you like <clears throat> and then tidy it a little bit. Okay, highlight all of these and change it to two decimal places. Um, Okay, so just change it to two decimal places. Uh, in this case, since we have over a thousand, select that as well so that it's easier for comparison. Okay, so, all right, I'm going to freeze this view. Okay, this is uh, what I'm going to look at uh, to, uh, to manipulate the data from here on in. Okay, so uh, we're going to go and start to combine the interest rate data as well. Okay, uh, the interest rate data, if you look at this, notice is very different. Okay. Uh, originally, when we downloaded the file, it so have the month, uh, the date. In this case, it's only showing it uh, this way. So, what are we going to, going to do? So, first thing I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to just instead of have this long name, I'm just going to have a one year T bill. Okay, one year T bill. Okay, and have it as that. Okay, and I don't want these information here. Right, next thing I'm going to do is just copy the year down, okay? These are strictly to this year, alright? So Excel is quite good um, for that purpose. It actually does that quite well. So we're going to do that on a year by year. Uh, I know it's a bit uh, boring. <coughs> it is mundane. Uh, I'm just going to keep doing this. Alright, I've finished uh, copying all the dates across. Okay, what I'm going to do next is uh, combine uh, the interest rate data and uh, with the uh, stock returns data. But before I do that, copy the um, plain data across. What I'm going to do is copy this information, uh, the, uh, the what do you call it, the date here, and uh, drop it across. Okay, you'll notice that the dates are different. This is 1990. This is starting from uh, 2010. Okay, so we have a real problem here um, on how to combine the data. So. Uh, one, there are many ways to do it. I'm just going to show you one way. Uh, it's, uh, one of the ways is to just manipulate this data here, sorting it from the uh, newest, uh, sorting it from the oldest to the newest. Okay. Since um, we only need data from 2004, December, so we're going to just delete all the irrelevant uh, data. Okay. It's December. So we just delete this lot here and shift it up. Okay. So immediately you will have a matching date okay so if we just scroll down the bottom here the only missing date here is the December one okay so in this case we already have the data okay so we're just going to copy that across including the name of the title okay uh, what to do with the last one here uh, whereby there's a missing data uh, what I suggest you to do is that there's not much changes we're just going to assume that it's the same at point four and just highlight that uh, to remind yourself Remember that the data that we have uh, on the stock data are sorted from end of the year, okay, rather the most recent date all the way down. So I'm going to sort this on the same, okay, uh, and copy this data over to here. All right, so if you compare it, it will look exactly the same now according to date. So 2004 December, 2004 December, okay, so because it's the same now, I just need to delete this and here we go. This is the return series um, with the data of the four stocks, the STI as well as the T-bill.